What's up with everyone bleaching their hair nowadays? I remember when I bleached my hair. Ugh. How's it guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I want to show you that cool flashback effect. All you need is Premiere Pro and a little bit of skills. And that's why I'm here. So let's jump into it. All right, so I got Premiere Pro open. We're going to recreate this effect. We got two clips. First one is the guy thinking really hard. And then the second one is him dancing. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a cross dissolve onto these just so that they blend into each other really nicely. You can either do that by right clicking when uh, this little red icon pops up and say apply default transitions, or you can always just add it in the effects, type in cross dissolve and drag that baby on. If you want to extend it, you need to click on it and then come up here to this section and uh, just pull on the ends there and there. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to add an adjustment layer. Project panel, I've already added one. If you don't know how to add one, I do have a video on adjustment layers, which you can watch up there. You click on this icon there, new item, and you click adjustment layer. And what I'm going to do is just drag that on top I'm going to make the adjustment layer match the cross dissolve layer. So adjustment layer on top of your cross dissolve and you need to click on the adjustment layer you don't want to click on any one of your videos and the first thing we're going to do is add an effect and that effect is called Gaussian blur so you search blur come down here you should find it uh, there it is Gaussian blur we drag that on what we're going to have to do is create keyframes keyframes are basically the basis of animation so you want to create a keyframe at the beginning for the blurriness so how you do that is you click on this little stopwatch and basically once we click on it it's creating a keyframe and it's saying at this point in our playhead what do you want the blurriness to be on i want it to be zero but not over here i'm going to drag it i want it to be zero right at the beginning and then also right at the end so i'm going to create another one by clicking here so at the beginning and the end we have two keyframes and then i'm going to drag until I, the point where the video crosses over uh, which is more or less there and I'm going to push the blurriness up to 100. As you can see on the edges here, they're a bit blurry and uh, black. And you can easily change that by clicking this box here, repeat edge pixels. And there you have a nice uh, smooth edge. So now if we click on it, you see it gets blurry in the middle and uh, back to non-blurry. So non-blurry, blurry, non-blurry. Non what you've got to do next is you have to duplicate this layer. So you can hold Alt or Option. Uh, on your keyboard, click on the adjustment layer and drag it up. That's going to create a, a second adjustment layer really, really quickly. And on the second one, what you're going to do is you are going to change the blend mode to linear dodge. Linear dodge. Click linear dodge. As you can see, the, the light all of a sudden gets really bright. What we want to do is at the point where the videos cross over on this keyframe, we want it to be the brightest. So we are going to set our opacity at that point to 100%. And what we wanted to do is go from 0% all the way to 100 and then back to 0. So we're going to create a little bit of a light um, transition there. So now if you play it, it's blurred, gets bright and black, back to blurry. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another adjustment layer. I'm going to create a fresh clean one. I'm going to pull it from my project panel here. I'll just cut that end off. We have an extra adjustment layer, right? And what we want to do is on this layer, we want to add the effect called turbulent display. So search for it at the bottom there, drag it onto this layer. And uh, what it's going to do, it's going to add that weird wavy effect. So we're going to start it at zero, start a keyframe, drag it to the beginning. Uh, I'm going to create another keyframe and I want to drag it all the way to the end. And in the middle, we're going to make it push up to about 200. I'm going to drag that one away. The two videos meet. As you can see, the video, it's really struggling to play back. So I've selected an in and out point here by selecting I on my keyboard and O on the other side. That selects an area. And I go up to sequence, render into out. And it's just gonna render it so that the computer can play back to me um, in real time and then it doesn't lag. Hey, while it's doing this, if you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. I'm so appreciated of guys who actually watch my videos, who like and comment. Put a comment in the comments. I really, really love to hear from you guys and just know that you're actually watching my videos. Really appreciate it, guys. Okay, so it's done. And if I play through it like that, um, that's the effect that we get. But what I do wanna do 
You can always play around with these settings. You can change the amount, the size. One more thing that I like to add is I like to add another adjustment layer. So I'm gonna duplicate this one more time. Take away our turbulent displace. And I'm gonna add an effect called the lens distort. Basically what this is gonna do, it's gonna add a bit of a, a push in, a bit of a warpy feeling. So on this first um, option here, it says curvature. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start it at zero all the way to the left, and we're gonna push it to minus 100. I'm gonna put that all the way to the end. We're gonna flip the effect with the opacity. So I'm gonna start with an opacity of 100%, and then I want it to fade out to zero by the end of it. And what that's gonna do is just gonna give the extra layer. I'm just gonna render this thing one more time, and then we're gonna check it out. Hey, and uh, after all of that, your flashback effect should look like this. Pretty cool, uh, just an easy transition. You can use that for uh, many, many things I can think of. You can also take some of these things out. So if you don't like that, that effect, you just turn it off. If you don't like the turbulent uh, displace effect, you can turn it off. If you want to shorten it and um, you just want to use the blur and the light, go for it. You can mess around with these adjustment layers as much as you want. If it's too long, you just shorten things. You will have to change your keyframes though. So plan it out. And uh, hey, I hope that really helped you. If it did, like this video, subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.